Hi, I'm in the process of uh, removing the ABS control module. Um, it's now exhibiting the same symptoms that many S4s do. Um, the ABS warning light turns on in the dash. It beeps three times, and now this is happening more and more frequently. I'm about to uh, take out the module and send it off to be rebuilt, which is a much less expensive proposition than um, buying the entire ABS module from Audi, which is like apparently $1,600 or so. Anyway, here goes. So this is uh, the entire ABS unit here. What we got to remove is this guy over here. Um, and so you can see two of the access screws. The other two are down below, and they are blocked by this windshield washer reservoir bottle. Um, so the recommended technique is to take off the left front wheel, remove the liner, which is not visible. So remove this liner over here. Let's get, uh, so there's the wheel. And in the wheel well, there is this uh, sort of black plastic liner blocks access to the windshield washer bottle, or so I'm told. So we'll take it out and we'll see. It looks like there are some torque screws here. So this is my torque set and a T25 is what we need here. This I believe is a T25. Yep, and I'm going to put this on this uh, let's see here, this nut driver that I have, and then get to work. Okay, so this one, this particular screw has a washer, the rest don't. So this guy has this black kind of hard rubber washer. So i got to remember that when we put it back. Okay, I think I've got all the torque screws off. I'm ready to start pulling and separating the um, this uh, liner. And I think just pulling at it will do. Maybe I'm... There. It comes off like that. And looks like I've already lost some screws over there, so this one's even isn't even holding on. I pull at this guy. Let's see here. Looks like important bits over there which I shouldn't break. And I think we have it. It's out. And there you go. That's what it looks like when it's out. And okay, so there's the windshield washer bottle. Um, and you can see there is appears to be one fastening screw over there, right there, and one over here perhaps, this guy, and this looks like a, this is the level indicator connector, and back there is what we actually want to remove, that's the ABS module over there, you can see. So this guy is just a 10 millimeter um, screw and after the first loosening it just comes out by hand so no need for a socket or anything let's see what the and there it is that's what it looks like now for the that guy over there Okay, 10 millimeter drive for this guy. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm feeling lazy to get up and go. Okay, I'll go get this. Back to this guy. So we're gonna try and remove it with my handy dandy. Long extension.
happen to have a long, really long drive extension. You don't need it to be that long, but this certainly does the job this wonderfully, I think. Oh, I can remove it by hand. Nope, not yet. This one's a tight one. Okay, the windshield water, uh, washer bottle has one more nut, which is right here. It looks like it shares it with the uh, power steering fluid reservoir, brake fluid, the power steering pump, fluid, hydraulic fluid reservoir. Got to remove that. Looks like the same 10 millimeter. Okay, the windshield water bottle can be pushed out of the way. You can see it over there. And it kind of hangs uh, underneath, kind of out of the way. Um, yeah, mine leaks a little bit, but it seems to, I haven't actually disconnected it. You can barely see it here, hang on. You can barely see, you can now see it. So I haven't actually disconnected it. It's leaking a little bit from somewhere. I don't care too much about that. It's windshield washer fluid. But now this connector here has to be removed and there's a trick to that. So I w w looked at it, stared at it for a bit. It just looks immovable, doesn't it? Turns out that the little thing poking out, this comes out. So you have to give it a good tug, a really good tug. And the little sort of gap opens up, and you can insert a screwdriver into it. Let's see here. Not yet. I need to pull us and pull some more. Oh. See now a little gap has opened up. Now you can pull it out. Some more insert a screwdriver and there you go. It has to be pulled out like pretty far as far as it will go. And then you can yank on this guy and out he comes. There you go. So one of those funky connectors, every one seems to be different. Okay, so there's another connector to remove and that's somewhat tricky as well. So there's this outer sort of uh, plastic piece, but there is an, uh, another bit which is, let's see if we can get a close up of it, there. On the inside there is another little tab which you can pull at with a pick, which is what I did. I used this kind of device here. This thing. And I pulled it in, put it in there and just pull that out, you can see that. And then if you pull that while pulling the connector from the bottom, it comes out. Otherwise it doesn't, okay. Careful on this one. Okay, now these screws have to be removed. Of course, these are T20s, not T25s, as in the other one. That's just to keep you on your toes. Okay, um, I'm gonna use a, a, my nut driver for these two probably and probably resort to something else for the bottom ones. Okay, this is the, whatever, quarter inch drive for this one, not a nut driver. So that works for this. I'll need some weird extensions for the bottom ones probably. But this, these ones are coming out pretty easy. Okay, I happen to have the perfect tool for this. It's a, it's a little flat angled offset uh, uh, drive kind of thing, a tiny little one uh, with uh, uh, one of those extensions that you get for drills and a little Torx bit att attached to the end of it. And this fits nicely at the 
bottom because you need a bit of extension, there's not much space, and this fits nicely over there. So I'm in the process of removing the bottom most screws. They're on the plastic casing, are they? Yes, they're on the, this black plastic part and it's attaching to the aluminum part. My little craftsman tiny mini ratchet is working, doing a great job, but I still have to kind of hold it in place. There's not much space here. I gotta hold it in place and actually there's not much torque required so I don't even need the handle. I can turn it with my fingers, but you kind of need this tool. Uh, without which this would have been really hard. Okay, all the screws are removed. And it's time to... Um, uh, time to pull it out. And it just uh, the little tug, it comes out. All the solenoid actuators, I think I see them there. Wow, well, looks very clever. And I have to be really careful, I guess. There you go, and this is the beastie. They're all little solenoids jiggling inside. Very cool, I have to say. This is what the innards of uh, the ABS system look like.